All right, well, the switch is fixed. I was inspired by that other saw that I saw when I was over in Oregon picking up that trailer load of rocks. And so I have a stiff wire here. They have a whole, they have a whole uh, metal rod that runs the length of the interior. I'll clip in like a picture of that. But uh, that rod that ran the whole length was rigid the whole way. And my setup's a little different that I didn't want to have to try to redo. You know, I've got the chain. But that, that uh, piece that sticks out, that's pretty rigid. And so putting in a toggle switch and uh, just bending, bending the wire down around there, I was worried like it might slide down and not, you know, not have leverage. It's a pretty stiff switch. I've got it unplugged right now. So, you know, it's pretty stiff. And that's so why I wasn't sure if it needed some adjustment or if this would you know maybe put something here to keep it from sliding down they glue something there or you know cold weld anyway a little test run it seemed to uh turn this off fine it didn't slide down and then you know this piece is rigid and it comes through and it's got to keep a pretty straight a pretty straight um angle to get through the through the tub so that was enough it didn't need to be it didn't need to be um you know supported on this side and it didn't pop off either so so I was I was kind of pleased. So uh, this is the new the new box. Replaced the the old broken switch. The pieces are up here. This is part of the box. I threw the other part away. But uh, reused some of the the gaskets to support the cables going through. Had to do a little little wiring uh, redo on the inside. I got a little video. I'll show you right before we put the case on here. And. Uh, I'll fire it up. There's nothing in it. I'll just uh, get the chain just about to the end and I'll Just show you how it how it switches everything off uh, Let's see. I've got it unplugged and it's in the on position. So let me get it so it won't take very long running uh, so I'll plug this in and I'll show you how it how it turns everything off now All right, so uh, yeah, it's running. This may need to go for a minute, so I may clip this out. We'll see how long it takes, but uh, you know, it's a pretty slow, slow screw driving the carriage through. Uh, I've mentioned this before, but this was a little modification the previous owner had done. He expanded this diameter a bit to run the carriage a little slower. And although that doesn't get more rock cut faster, it does save the blade makes for a little smoother cut it's a little nicer and uh, as long as nothing hangs up this will keep turning I was watching this when I had first tried out the switch make sure that it didn't bind but if the if that screw can drive rock through a blade I think it can probably pull this little toggle switch that's got a little bit extra extra force needed so we'll check that out stops without even clicking don't get the satisfaction of the final click but it turns off on its own so it's working again all right i don't have to listen for the saw to change noise and constantly be thinking don't forget to go turn off the saw because it doesn't have a shut off so now it has a shut off again all right well I'll be able to get some rock cut and I'll put up videos of the good stuff. So hope you guys are having a great day and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.